is I'm definitely having more kids someday, but I do have a list of things I'd like to do differently during my next pregnancy. To be exact, I have five things I'd like to do differently during my next pregnancy. This is kind of a tag, a little bit, but not really, so sorry I'm sending you guys another tag video, but I've been wanting to do this one for a really long time because I've been thinking about when I'm going to have my next baby and you know all of that jazz considering my husband plans to join the military. So there's a whole lot of question marks about that whole subject right now, but there are some things that I know for sure I'd like to do differently. Um, the first thing that I'd like to do differently is be more active. <laughs> During my first pregnancy I was the epitome of I'm pregnant, I don't have to do anything, and I really wish that I would have done a pregnancy yoga class or t just walked around more and not have been so lazy because I really truly believe that a lot of the aches and pains I were feeling was because I was like just sitting around all day lounging around not working out my body at all and so my joints and my muscles and my you know body was carrying so much extra extra weight but it didn't have the stamina or the strength to carry it properly so with my next pregnancy, I'd like to take, um, you know, yoga and Pilates and pregnancy dance classes, you know, whatever there is out there, I'd really like to try it. And along with being more active, I'd love, love, love to swim more in my next pregnancy. I didn't swim at all during my first one, and I've heard that it can really help you feel better because you're so weightless in the water. So I would really like to try swimming while I'm pregnant. The second thing is to complain less. Um, I I can't even tell you how much I complained with my first pregnancy. Heartburn was the worst and I just complained constantly about it and I feel bad because you know, I'm carrying this beautiful life in my belly and some women don't get the joy of feeling pregnancy ever and here I am nine months pregnant complaining that I have heartburn or complaining that my back hurts and of course with pregnancy there's going to be a little bit of complaining because pregnancy can't be hard on your body but the amount of complaining I did is kind of embarrassing and completely unnecessary so with this next pregnancy I really want to try and enjoy every little thing about my morning sickness and my 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 um, heartburn my back aches and my headaches and my stretch marks and all of it and try not to complain because at the end of the road, I'm gonna have a little cute little baby. The third one is a big one for me. I really wanted to enjoy more birth novelties with my first baby, such as um, a birth photographer, which I'm really interested in, and I really want that to be a part of my second pregnancy uh, birth, and uh, placenta encapsulate, encapsulation. Yeah, that. I wanted to do that so bad, but I just, money you, you know I was broke during my first pregnancy I, I didn't even have money to go buy like stretch mark cream or anything of the sorts that I wanted to do so I never got to do a belly casting or anything like that so with this next pregnancy while I do think it is a little bit unfair for Toby that he that I didn't get to do it with his pregnancy with this next one I want to do it as much as possible I want to do all of the things that you can um, and I just have to hope that when Toby's older and I explain to him, he understands that it wasn't because I didn't love him as much, it was because he was our first and we just didn't have that kind of money to spare when I was pregnant with him. But he's a boy and I don't really think that he will necessarily care, but I just want to make sure that he knows that I love him and I'm just really excited to do that stuff for the next baby, especially placenta encapsulation. I wanted to do it so bad, but I just couldn't, so next time around that is a 100% thing I'm doing. Um, and number five is to take more pictures. I had originally started doing a week, week, week by week picture, um, you know, where you take the picture and then you put text on the picture where you say, the baby is the size of a sweet pea this month, or this week, and he can suck his thumb and I am craving Doritos, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and I did for six weeks and then my husband and I moved suddenly and then after that it was like our life got flipped, turned upside down um, and so it just slipped my mind and then the next thing I know I'm doing a daily uh, a bump update at 37 weeks pregnant and I missed that whole span. 
So I'm pretty sure I did a 16 week update for my pregnancy and then all the way to 37 weeks was when I did another picture of my belly and there was really nothing like that in between. So I need to do the week by week thing next time around because it was so important to me and I just didn't do it. So I feel kind of guilty about that, but you know, it happens. Things happen. So those are five things that I'd like to do differently during my next pregnancy. If you found them interesting, let me know in the comments. If you have already ha had a pregnancy and you would like to do a couple things different, also let me know. And if you've never been pregnant and you plan on having children, let me know if, if you have anything spe spectacular or specific that you want to do for your first pregnancy. Since I don't know if this is an actual tag, I'm not going to tag anybody, but if you want to do this video, feel free to do it and say that I tagged you. No one will ever know, right? If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. I put out videos every Monday and Friday when I remember, and I've been doing really good at it. I'll see you guys next time.